Hello, I'm Anna Ray Mondi, and this is Mystical Mondays. Thank you for joining me. Today, I will be talking about spiritual visitation in dreams as opposed to regular dreams or psychological dreams. So there are absolute differences. In a spirit visitation dream, the dream is very emotional and has an impact. They often leave the person with this feeling that lasts for many hours and they can range from an overwhelming sense of peace or love. They're very vivid, bright colors, shades of certain colors that appear as shadows, the faces of people or the feeling. All of our loved ones do not come through in a physical form where you can see their face. Some of them, it's just a feeling and an intensity of knowing they're there. But there is definitely a recognition of the deceased person or spirit guides or whomever they may be. And there is a direct communication. So now when I talk about direct communication, it doesn't always mean talking, hearing them talk. Sometimes it's telepathic or um, an all-knowing. They often leave messages to help us in our daily lives or to let us know that they're okay. They're very lucid in terms of how we are experiencing them, which means that the person dreaming may be aware they're dreaming and may even say, I need to hold on to this. I want to remember this, which brings us to spirit, visitation dreams are memorable and you're able to remember them as opposed to a psychological dream where you may not remember them, just kind of let it go. It sits in your subconscious and that's it. You may also get physical sensations when you wake up, still feeling that touch on your arm or still smelling the fragrance of a beautiful perfume. And they often repeat may not be the same exact dream, but they will repeat or the same souls may be in the dream. It's positive. It's loving. It's peace. That's what it's about. You may feel transformed in some way. Now, a psychological or quote unquote regular dream, it's our subconscious mind processing daily, daily events, fears, anxieties, influenced by recent events, television, books, people we saw, people we're thinking about, they can be disjointed and not and seem surreal. So they're not quite like um, a spiritual visitation dream, which feels absolutely real. They might not have a clear narrative or clear message. They may be scattered. Whereas a spiritual visitation dream is clear and to the point. Now, often people say, why can't I dream about my loved ones? Well, there's certain reasons. A, you may not be that kind of a dreamer and they may be coming to you in different ways. You may not be sleeping well. That often affects how, how and what we're going to see in dreams because the dream is not, it can't go on during uh, a typical REM space or you are dreaming about them and you push it away for some reason my suggestion is before you go to sleep ask the angels to help your loved ones come through to you to help you sleep and to help you recognize it's them and ask your loved ones to come through in dreams in a way that you will know them and hear them and feel them it works in the meantime, sleep well and sleep with the love of the angels and all those that love you.